Welcome back to Audiobook Radio. Today, we're delving into the insane wealth gap that has widened in our society and how to achieve financial freedom through debt management. It's not just about the numbers. It's about real life, real struggles, and how this gap is impacting the social and economic tensions around us. I want to hear from you. What do you think about the wealth gap? Do you have personal experiences or ideas on how to close it? Leave your comments below. And if you found this video interesting, don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Let's get started. 1. Financial Freedom and Debt Financial freedom is often described as the ability to make choices that allow you to live your life on your own terms without being constrained by financial pressures. It signifies a state where you have sufficient savings, investments, and cash flow to afford the lifestyle you desire while still being able to weather unexpected financial challenges. Financial freedom goes beyond simply having a good income. It encompasses the principles of budgeting, saving, investing, and managing debt effectively. It means cultivating a mindset where money becomes a tool to help you achieve your goals, rather than a source of stress and limitation. Ultimately, the journey to financial freedom involves a holistic approach, integrating various aspects of personal finance to create a sustainable financial plan that aligns with your values and aspirations. But how debt plays a crucial role in achieving financial goals. Debt is a double-edged sword in the realm of personal finance. On one hand, manageable debt can serve as a powerful catalyst for achieving financial goals, such as investing in education, buying a home, or starting a business. When used wisely, debt can leverage your financial assets and enhance your purchasing power. For instance, student loans can enable individuals to obtain a degree that opens doors to higher paying job opportunities, while a mortgage allows for the acquisition of real estate that can appreciate in value over time. Conversely, excessive or poorly managed debt can impede financial freedom. High interest debts, particularly credit card debt, can create a cycle of financial strain that limits your ability to save and invest for the future. The key to utilizing debt constructively lies in effective debt management. This entails understanding the types of debt you have, developing a clear repayment strategy, prioritizing high interest debts, and cultivating financial habits that help avoid borrowing pitfalls. In this guide, we will explore comprehensive strategies for debt management, offering actionable steps to reduce debt, improve your creditworthiness, and ultimately pave your way to financial freedom. By mastering the art of managing debt, you can take significant strides towards achieving your financial aspirations and enjoying a life of independence and security. 2. Understanding Good Debt versus Bad Debt When it comes to managing personal finances, one of the crucial concepts to grasp is the distinction between good debt and bad debt. Understanding these classifications can significantly impact an individual's long-term financial health and decision-making processes. Definitions of Good Debt and Bad Debt Good Debt Good debt is often defined as debt that is taken on for investment that is expected to generate a return or increase in value over time. This type of debt is viewed as beneficial because it can help an individual or business build wealth, improve financial standing, or create opportunities for future financial gains. Common characteristics of good debt include lower interest rates, manageable repayment terms, and the potential to contribute to one's overall financial growth. Bad debt. In contrast, bad debt refers to loans or credit that are incurred primarily for purchasing depreciating assets or consumables, which do not provide a return on investment. Bad debt often comes with high interest rates, and can lead to negative financial consequences if not managed properly. Typically associated with credit card debt, payday loans, and personal loans for non-essential or luxury items, bad debt can hinder one's financial stability and ability to meet long-term financial goals. Examples of good debt and bad debt and their financial implications. Examples of good debt. 1. Student loans. Debt taken on to finance education can be considered good debt if it results in increased earning potential and career opportunities. Education is often an investment that yields returns in the form of higher salaries and better job prospects. 2. Mortgage. A mortgage used to buy a home can be categorized as good debt if the property appreciates over time. Owning real estate typically increases net worth and can serve as a long-term investment. 3. Business loans. These loans can be vital for entrepreneurs looking to start or expand their businesses. 
If utilized strategically, business loans can generate revenue and lead to significant profit growth. Examples of bad debt. 1. Credit card debt. Incurring debt on credit cards, especially for non-essential purchases, falls into the bad debt category. High interest rates can lead to substantial debt accumulation, making it difficult to pay off. 2. Payday loans. These short-term, high-interest loans often trap individuals in a cycle of debt and are typically used to cover immediate financial needs rather than for investments. 3. Auto loans for depreciating vehicles. Financing a new car can be considered bad debt if the debt is not needed for reliable transportation. As vehicles typically depreciate in value quickly, this type of loan does not contribute to long-term wealth. Financial implications of good debt versus bad debt. The implications of taking on good versus bad debt can be substantial. Good debt, when managed wisely, can enhance financial growth and security, contributing positively to an individual's net worth and long-term financial goals. It has the potential to foster opportunities, such as securing a better job or providing essential services. On the other hand, bad debt can lead to financial strain and hinder future investments. It can result in higher monthly expenses, greater vulnerability to economic changes, and increased stress related to financial management. It may also limit an individual's ability to save, invest, or plan for future expenditures, leading to a cycle of debt that can be challenging to escape. In conclusion, understanding the nuances of good debt versus bad debt is essential for effective financial management. By making informed borrowing decisions and focusing on investments that yield positive returns, Individuals can strengthen their financial foundations and work towards achieving their long-term financial objectives. 3. The Role of Leverage in Building Wealth Explanation of Financial Leverage Financial leverage refers to the strategic use of borrowed capital, or debt, to increase the potential return on investment. Essentially, it allows individuals and businesses to amplify their purchasing power by using other people's money to generate higher returns than would be possible with their own capital alone. By employing leverage, investors can acquire larger investments than they could solely fund with their own cash, which can significantly magnify both gains and losses. Leverage is commonly used in various forms, including loans for real estate purchases, margin trading in stocks, and business financing through debt instruments. While leverage can enhance profits during favorable market conditions, it inherently carries risks, as losses can similarly be escalated if investments do not perform as expected. Thus, understanding the balance between risk and reward is crucial when utilizing leverage. How Successful People Use Leverage to Their Advantage Successful individuals often recognize the potential of leverage not just as a financial tool, but as a means to create opportunities and expand their wealth. They do not simply rely on their income or savings. Instead, they strategically incorporate leverage to maximize their investment potential. Here are several ways they do this. 1. Real estate investments. Many wealthy individuals invest in real estate by taking out mortgages. This allows them to purchase properties much larger than what their cash alone could allow. As the properties appreciate over time, they benefit from the increased value as well as the rental income generated all while paying off a portion of the borrowed money. This combination can lead to substantial long-term wealth accumulation. 2. Stock market investments. Successful investors may use margin accounts to buy stocks on credit, thereby leveraging their existing capital. By investing with borrowed funds, they can increase their exposure to the market, enabling them to amplify potential gains. However, they also remain cautious of the risks, ensuring they have exit strategies in place. 3. Business Expansion Entrepreneurs often leverage their initial investment to grow their businesses. By taking loans or attracting investors, they can scale their operations quickly. This approach allows them to hire employees, invest in marketing, and enhance product development, which can lead to increased revenues far beyond what might have been possible with self-funding alone. 4. Networking and Partnerships Beyond Financial Leverage Many successful people leverage relationships and networks. By collaborating with others who have complementary skills, resources, or capital, they can expand their reach and influence, creating mutually beneficial opportunities that drive wealth creation. 5. Utilizing retirement accounts. 
Some affluent individuals maximize their retirement accounts by using them as leverage for further investments. They can borrow against their retirement savings to fund larger investments, allowing them to swiftly capitalize on opportunities while still benefiting from tax advantages. In conclusion, leverage is a powerful tool in the arsenal of successful wealth builders. When used judiciously, it can provide them with significant opportunities to grow their assets and secure their financial futures. However, it is essential to approach leverage carefully, ensuring that one is equipped to manage the associated risks effectively and make informed decisions that will lead to sustained wealth accumulation over time. 4. Why the rich are not afraid of debt Understanding the attitude of wealthy individuals toward debt can provide valuable insights into their financial success. Contrary to the common perception that debt is inherently bad or dangerous, many affluent people see it as a strategic tool that, when managed properly, can enhance their economic standing. The Mindset of the Wealthy Toward Debt Wealthy individuals tend to have a distinct mindset when it comes to debt, viewing it more as an opportunity rather than a liability. They recognize that not all types of debt are created equal. While they may avoid high-interest consumer debt, such as credit card debt, they are often comfortable leveraging low-interest loans to invest in assets that generate income or appreciate over time. This perspective stems from an understanding of the principles of financial leverage, where borrowing can amplify gains. Moreover, affluent individuals typically have a higher tolerance for risk and are more informed about financial markets and investment opportunities. This knowledge enables them to make calculated decisions about when, how, and why to incur debt. Rather than fearing debt, the wealthy see it as a mechanism to achieve their goals, whether that be purchasing real estate, investing in businesses, or financing education that enhances their earning potential. Strategies the rich use to manage and grow their wealth. To effectively manage and leverage debt, wealthy individuals employ several strategies that differentiate them from those who may view debt with trepidation. 1. Investment in income-generating assets. One of the primary strategies is the use of debt to invest in assets that produce cash flow. For instance, real estate investors often take on mortgages to acquire properties that can generate rental income, which not only helps cover the cost of the debt, but also builds equity over time. 2. Utilizing low-interest borrowing. Many wealthy individuals capitalize on low-interest rates to borrow funds at a cost-effective rate. They use these funds to invest in stocks, bonds, or businesses, expecting returns that significantly outweigh the interest expense. This approach can lead to substantial wealth accumulation. 3. Debt Diversification The rich often diversify their debt, using different types of loans for various purposes to spread risk and optimize cash flow. This approach allows them to manage their financial obligations more effectively and maintain a healthy debt-to-income ratio. 4. Financial Education and Advisory Services Wealthy individuals typically invest in financial education and often work with advisors who help them understand complex financial strategies. This guidance allows them to make more informed decisions about how much debt to take on, when to pay it down, and how to manage cash flows. 5. Building Credit Wisely The rich often focus on building and maintaining a strong credit score, enabling them to access better borrowing terms. This proactive approach includes timely payments and intelligent use of credit, which allows them to leverage debt effectively without jeopardizing their financial standing. In summary, the affluent have cultivated a mindset that views debt as a strategic tool for wealth enhancement rather than a source of anxiety. By employing various strategies to manage and grow their wealth through prudent borrowing, they navigate the financial landscape in a way that capitalizes on opportunities, ultimately leading to greater financial independence and prosperity. 5. Comparing debt and savings. Which is more effective? In today's financial landscape, the question of whether to take on debt or focus on saving has become increasingly relevant. Each option carries its own set of advantages and disadvantages, making it crucial for individuals to assess their personal circumstances, goals, and the broader economic environment when deciding which route to pursue. The Pros and Cons of Debt versus Saving Pros of Debt 1. Immediate access to resources Taking on debt can provide individuals with immediate funds that they may not have available in their savings. For instance, credit cards, loans, and mortgages allow people to make significant purchases, such as a home or a car, 
without needing to wait until they have saved enough money. 2. Building credit history. Responsibly managing debt, such as making timely payments, can help individuals build a positive credit history. A strong credit score can enhance future borrowing options and reduce the cost of loans through lower interest rates. 3. Investment opportunities. In some cases, borrowing money to invest can yield higher returns than the interest paid on the debt. For example, students may take loans to fund their education with the anticipation of earning a higher salary after graduation. Cons of debt. 1. Interest payments. One of the most significant drawbacks of taking on debt is the obligation to pay interest. Over time, this can lead to a substantial additional financial burden. High interest debts, especially credit card debt, can be particularly detrimental. 2. Risk of overextension. Individuals may find themselves in a cycle of borrowing more to cover previous debts, which can lead to financial instability and stress. Poorly managed debt can damage credit scores and create overwhelming repayment obligations. 3. Limited financial flexibility. A heavy debt load can restrict an individual's financial options, making it difficult to save for future goals or emergencies. Pros of saving. 1. Financial security. Having savings provides a safety net that can help individuals manage unexpected expenses such as medical bills or job loss without resorting to debt. 2. Interest earnings. Unlike debt, which incurs interest payments, savings can accumulate interest, allowing individuals to grow their wealth over time. This can be particularly advantageous in high-yield savings accounts or investments. 3. Peace of mind. Saving money can reduce financial anxiety and provide a sense of control over one's finances. It allows for future planning and helps individuals feel more secure in their financial situation. Cons of saving. 1. Inflation impact. In today's economy, the value of money can diminish due to inflation, meaning that the purchasing power of saved dollars may decrease over time. As a result, individuals may find that their savings do not keep pace with the rising costs of living. 2. Opportunity costs. Choosing to save rather than invest or take on calculated debt might lead to missed opportunities for greater returns. For example, money sitting in a savings account may not yield as high returns as investing in the stock market or real estate. 3. Slow progress towards goals. For significant purchases, such as buying a home or funding education, saving might take much longer than expected, leading individuals to feel frustrated or stuck in their financial journey. Why saving might not be enough in today's economy. In the contemporary financial environment, Characterized by rising living costs and fluctuating markets, relying solely on savings can present challenges. For many individuals, wages may not keep pace with inflation, making it increasingly difficult to save enough for future needs while managing everyday expenses. Furthermore, economic factors such as interest rates, job market instability, and unexpected global events can create uncertainty, rendering traditional saving strategies less effective. In such a landscape, Individuals may find that combining savvy debt management with strategic saving and investing is essential for building long-term financial health. In conclusion, the decision between debt and saving is not merely black and white. Individuals must evaluate their financial situation, consider the implications of their choices, and explore a balanced approach that best aligns with their goals and the realities of today's economy. 6. Rhetorical Question can you really achieve wealth without debt? In this section, we will explore the intriguing concept of wealth accumulation in the absence of debt. The question prompts us to consider not only the traditional paths to financial success, but also the alternative approaches that do not involve borrowing money. Achieving wealth is often associated with leveraging credit, taking out loans, and utilizing various forms of debt to invest in opportunities that may yield high returns. However, the notion of building wealth without incurring any debt challenges this conventional wisdom and invites us to delve deeper into the principles of financial independence and self-sufficiency. This deep dive will examine several key factors, including 1. Defining wealth. What does it mean to be truly wealthy? Is it merely a number in a bank account? Or does it encompass a broader lifestyle of abundance, security, and freedom from financial stress? 2. Historical perspectives. We'll analyze examples from history and contemporary society of individuals and communities that have successfully built wealth without resorting to debt, 
highlighting their strategies and mindsets. 3. Alternative Wealth Building Strategies We will look at methods such as saving and investing from cash savings, living within one's means, and the potential of entrepreneurship without relying on loans or credit. 4. The Role of Mindset A significant focus will be on the mindset required to reject debt. How does one cultivate a mentality that values patience, discipline, and the willingness to forego instant gratification for long-term financial health? 5. Challenges and Obstacles It's essential to acknowledge the challenges that individuals may face when trying to achieve wealth without debt, such as limited access to opportunities that require upfront capital. 6. Real-life Examples and Case Studies we will provide anecdotes and case studies of individuals who have successfully navigated their financial journeys with little to no debt, illustrating their practical approaches and the lessons learned along the way. By the end of this exploration, readers will have a clearer understanding of whether it is indeed possible to achieve wealth without debt and the various avenues one might pursue to realize this goal. The investigation also aims to motivate individuals to rethink their relationship with money and debt, potentially leading to a more sustainable and fulfilling approach to wealth creation. 7. How to identify and use good debt to grow your assets. When it comes to managing your finances, understanding the difference between good debt and bad debt is crucial for building and preserving wealth. Good debt can be a powerful tool that allows you to leverage borrowed funds to create and increase your assets. Here, we will explore how to identify good debt and provide examples of such debts that can contribute to your financial growth. Identifying good debt. Good debt is typically characterized by its potential to generate income or appreciate in value over time. It can help you build your financial portfolio rather than detract from it. To identify whether a debt is good, consider the following criteria. Income generating potential. Does taking on this debt enable you to create a new income stream? If the investment can generate earnings that exceed the cost of the debt, it may be considered good debt. Appreciation potential. Is the asset you're financing expected to increase in value? If you're borrowing to invest in something that is likely to appreciate, such as real estate, it can be classified as good debt. A low interest rates. Good debt often comes with lower interest rates, making it easier to manage over time. This is often true for secured loans, where the borrowing is backed by an asset such as property. Tax benefits. Some debts offer tax advantages that can make them more attractive. For example, mortgage interest is usually tax deductible, which can reduce your overall tax liability. Examples of good debt. One, mortgages. When you take out a mortgage to buy a home, you're using debt to purchase an asset that often appreciates over time. While homes can experience fluctuations in value, historically, real estate tends to increase in value in the long term. Additionally, Mortgage interest may be tax-deductible, further enhancing its value as good debt. 2. Business Loans If you are an entrepreneur or a business owner, utilizing a business loan can help you invest in your company's growth. By taking on debt to purchase equipment, expand your operations, or hire more employees, you may increase revenues and profits. If the return on investment exceeds the original cost of a loan, this can be a viable form of good debt. 3. Educational Loans while opinions on student loans can be mixed, borrowing to finance education can be considered good debt if it significantly enhances your earning potential. If investment in your education leads to a higher paying job, it can offset the cost of the debt over time. 4. Investment loans. Some individuals opt for margin loans or other forms of financing to invest in stocks or other financial instruments. If managed carefully, using borrowed money to invest can yield higher returns than if you were only using your own funds. However, it is essential to understand the risks involved in investing with borrowed money. 5. Home Equity Loans If you have built equity in your home, a home equity loan could be a useful way to access funds for home improvements, debt consolidation, or investment purposes. If the renovations increase the value of your home or a consolidating higher interest debt lowers your overall obligations, it can be prudent debt management. Conclusion Understanding how to identify and leverage good debt is a vital skill in your financial journey. By recognizing the types of debts that can contribute positively to your wealth building efforts, you can make more informed choices that expand your assets and enhance your financial stability. Always consider the potential risks 
and seek to balance your debt responsibilities with your overall financial goals to maximize the advantages of good debt. 8. Dot, building a Debt Management Strategy Creating a solid debt management strategy is essential for anyone looking to regain control over their finances and work towards a debt-free future. Here are the steps you can follow to create a personalized debt management plan that suits your needs. Step 1. Assess your current financial situation. Begin by taking a comprehensive look at your financial landscape. Gather all relevant documents, including loan statements, credit card bills, and any other debts you may have. Create a list of all your debts, noting the total owed, interest rates, monthly payments, and due dates. Additionally, assess your income sources and monthly expenses to understand your cash flow. Step 2. Create a budget. Once you have a clear picture of your earnings and obligations, develop a budget that reflects your financial reality. This budget should include fixed expenses, like rent or mortgage, utilities and minimum debt payments, as well as discretionary spending. Ensure that your budget allows room for debt repayment while covering essential living expenses. Step 3. Prioritize your debts. Not all debts are created equal. Assess which debts are costing you the most due to high interest rates or other factors. Consider implementing a debt repayment strategy, such as the avalanche method, paying off high interest debts first, or the snowball method, starting with smaller debts to build momentum. This prioritization will help you allocate your resources more effectively. Step 4. Explore debt repayment options. Investigate various options available to help you manage or reduce your debt. This might include debt consolidation loans, balance transfer credit cards, or even working with a credit counseling service. Understanding these options can help you devise a plan that minimizes interest payments and accelerates debt freedom. Step 5. Cut unnecessary expenses. Review your budget for any areas where you can cut back. Identify non-essential spending and consider temporary sacrifices that could free up additional funds for debt repayment. Even small changes, like reducing dining out, canceling subscriptions, or finding more affordable alternatives, can lead to significant savings over time. Step 6. Increase your income. If possible, look for ways to increase your income. This might involve taking on a part-time job, freelancing, or selling unused items around your home. Any extra cash generated can be directly allocated towards paying down debt, speeding up your journey to financial freedom. Step 7. Stay accountable. Implementing your debt management strategy requires commitment and discipline. Consider enlisting a friend or family member to help you stay accountable. Regularly check in on your progress, celebrating small victories along the way. Step 8. Monitor your progress. Continuously track your debts and financial situation. Regularly updating your budget and reassessing your repayment plan will help you stay on course. Adjust your strategy as necessary depending on changes in income or expenses and remain flexible to achieve optimal results. Step 9. Educate yourself. While executing your strategy, Take time to educate yourself about personal finance. Understanding how credit works, the importance of maintaining a good credit score, and other financial principles will empower you to make informed decisions moving forward. Step 10. Celebrate your achievements. As you make progress and pay off debts, take time to celebrate your achievements, no matter how small. Recognizing your hard work will motivate you and reinforce positive financial behaviors. By following these steps and remaining committed to your debt management strategy, you can take meaningful strides toward regaining control over your finances and building a more secure financial future. 9. Real Estate and Debt The Power of Mortgages Real estate has long been recognized as a powerful avenue for building wealth, and one of the key instruments that can enhance this journey is the mortgage. Mortgages are not merely loans used to purchase property. They represent a strategic financial tool that, when used effectively, can lead to significant wealth accumulation. In this discussion, we will delve into how mortgages can be leveraged to build wealth through real estate investments. Understanding Mortgages in Real Estate A mortgage is a loan specifically designed for purchasing real estate, where the property itself serves as collateral. By utilizing a mortgage, investors can acquire properties without needing to pay the full purchase price up front. This allows individuals to invest in larger or multiple properties, amplifying their potential returns. 
Leverage, the key to wealth building. One of the most compelling aspects of using a mortgage in real estate is the concept of leverage. Leverage refers to the use of borrowed capital to increase the potential return on investment. When an investor purchases a property with a mortgage, they are only putting down a fraction of the property's value as a down payment, while the rest is funded through debt. This means that any increase in the property's value results in a greater percentage gain relative to the investor's initial equity investment. For example, if a property worth $300,000 is purchased with a $60,000 down payment, 20% equity, and appreciates to $360,000, the investor has made a profit of $60,000 on an initial investment of $60,000, effectively doubling their money. Cash flow and rental income. Investors can also build wealth through real estate by generating cash flow from rental properties. When a property is financed with a mortgage, the rental income received can be used to cover the monthly mortgage payments, property management expenses, and maintenance costs. In successful scenarios where rental income surpasses these expenses, investors can create a positive cash flow, which can be reinvested into additional properties or used for other investments. Over time, as mortgage balances decrease and property values increase, the cash flow from these properties can significantly contribute to the investor's overall wealth. Tax Advantages Another important consideration when leveraging mortgages in real estate is the tax benefits associated with property ownership. Mortgage interest payments are generally tax-deductible, which can reduce the overall tax burden for investors. Additionally, property owners can often claim depreciation, which allows them to write off a portion of the property's value annually, further reducing taxable income. These financial advantages can make mortgages even more appealing as a means of building wealth through real estate. Risk Management and Financial Strategy While leveraging mortgages can undoubtedly facilitate wealth building, is essential to recognize the associated risks. Real estate markets can be unpredictable, and factors such as economic downturns or changes in interest rates can affect property values and cash flow. Therefore, it is crucial for investors to conduct thorough market research, manage their debt responsibly, and maintain a diversified portfolio to mitigate risks. In conclusion, mortgages serve as a powerful tool for wealth accumulation in real estate. Through strategic use of leverage, careful management of rental income, understanding tax implications, and being aware of market risks, investors can unlock the potential of real estate to significantly grow their wealth over time. By approaching real estate investment with knowledge and foresight, individuals can turn a mortgage into a pathway for lasting financial success. 10. How Business Owners Use Debt to Expand In the world of business, leveraging debt can often be a strategic move that catalyzes growth and expansion. Although the idea of taking on debt can be daunting for many entrepreneurs, a carefully considered approach to financing can pave the way for exciting opportunities and greater success. In this section, we will delve into case studies of various entrepreneurs who have utilized debt to propel their businesses forward, illustrating the potential advantages as well as the risks involved. Case Studies of Entrepreneurs Using Debt to Grow Their Businesses 1. Tech Startups and Venture Capital Debt one of the most illustrative examples can be found in the technology sector, where startups often face significant upfront costs related to product development and market entry. Entrepreneurs in this field may opt for venture capital debt, providing them with the necessary funds to accelerate their development without immediately diluting equity. A notable case is a software-as-a-service (SaaS) company that took on a $5 million line of credit. This capital allowed them to enhance their product offerings and scale their marketing efforts, ultimately leading to a tripling of their customer base within a year. 2. Retail Expansion Through Bank Loans A small local retail store serves as another compelling case study. After establishing a successful local presence, the owner sought to expand to multiple locations. By obtaining a bank loan of $200,000, the entrepreneur was able to secure new storefronts, refurbish existing spaces, and invest in marketing campaigns. This strategic use of debt not only increased brand visibility, but also resulted in a 150% increase in annual revenue over the following two years. 3. Manufacturing and Equipment Financing In the manufacturing sector, Businesses often require substantial investments in machinery and equipment to improve productivity and maintain competitiveness. 
a family-owned manufacturing company was able to secure a $1 million equipment financing loan. This investment in state-of-the-art technology enabled them to streamline operations, reduce production costs, and ultimately expand their product line. The result was a 40% increase in output, allowing the company to fulfill larger orders and enter new markets. For real estate investment and construction, real estate entrepreneurs frequently rely on debt to finance property acquisitions and development projects. For instance, a property developer utilized a combination of construction loans and investor financing to fund a mixed-use development in a rapidly growing urban area. Despite the inherent risks, the project not only met but exceeded its sales targets, leading to a substantial return on investment and establishing the developer as a key player in the local real estate market. 5. Franchise Growth Through Strategic Debt Franchising is another avenue where entrepreneurs effectively use debt to fuel growth. Consider a franchise owner who took out a loan to open multiple locations of a popular fast food chain simultaneously. This strategic use of debt provided the necessary capital to secure leases, remodel spaces, and hire staff, allowing for rapid expansion. Within three years, the entrepreneur transformed a single location into five franchises, significantly increasing overall profitability and brand recognition. Conclusion The stories of these entrepreneurs highlight how strategic debt management can serve as a powerful tool for growth. While taking on debt carries risks, when approached with a solid business plan and careful financial management, it can lead to significant opportunities for scaling businesses, enhancing product offerings, and increasing market reach. As these case studies illustrate, understanding how to effectively leverage debt is an invaluable skill for business owners looking to expand and thrive in their respective industries. 11. Debt in the Corporate World – A Look at Big Companies The concept of debt plays a significant and often strategic role in the financial operations of large corporations. Understanding how these companies leverage debt is essential for grasping the intricacies of corporate finance and the broader economic landscape. Examples of large companies that thrive on debt. Many prominent corporations utilize debt as a vital tool for growth and expansion. For instance, companies such as Apple, Amazon, and General Electric have all capitalized on debt financing to fund operations, invest in research and development, and facilitate acquisitions. Apple, for example, has issued bonds to raise capital while taking advantage of low interest rates to return value to shareholders through stock buybacks and dividends. Similarly, Amazon has utilized debt to finance logistics and infrastructure improvements, subsequently supporting its rapid growth in e-commerce and cloud computing. Other notable examples include Tesla, which has frequently accessed debt markets to fund its ambitious manufacturing goals and technological advancements. These instances highlight the impact of debt on enhancing a company's competitive edge and allowing them to seize market opportunities that would otherwise be out of reach if relying solely on equity financing. The Role of Corporate Bonds and Financing Corporate bonds play an instrumental role in the framework of corporate financing. By issuing bonds, companies can raise significant amounts of capital without diluting equity ownership. This debt instrument allows corporations to attract both institutional and private investors, providing a relatively stable source of funding for long-term projects. Large corporations often issue bonds to finance expansions, research initiatives, or refinance existing debts. These bonds typically carry fixed interest rates, which can be advantageous, particularly when interest rates are low. This aspect of debt financing enables companies to manage cash flow more effectively while also locking in favorable borrowing costs for the future. Moreover, the corporate bond market operates as a critical mechanism in the global economy, influencing investment strategies and risk assessments. Rating agencies provide evaluations of the creditworthiness of these bonds, guiding investors' decisions and impacting the interest rates that companies must offer to attract investment. In conclusion, Debt is not merely a financial burden for large corporations. Rather, it serves as a strategic means of capitalizing on growth opportunities and maintaining financial flexibility. As companies navigate the complexities of the market, understanding the nuanced relationship between debt, corporate bonds, and overall business strategy becomes paramount for stakeholders involved in the corporate landscape. 12. That the impact of interest rates on debt management. The management of debt is a critical aspect of personal finance, 
corporate finance, and governmental fiscal policy. One of the most significant external factors affecting debt management is the fluctuation of interest rates. Understanding how these changes influence debt repayment can provide valuable insights into effective financial strategies. Fluctuating interest rates can have a profound impact on the cost of borrowing. When interest rates rise, the cost of servicing existing debt increases. This means that borrowers may find themselves paying considerably more in interest payments than they had anticipated. Consequently, individuals, businesses, and governments may experience tighter financial constraints, which can lead to a reassessment of their overall financial strategy. Conversely, when interest rates decrease, the cost of borrowing becomes more manageable. This reduction can make it easier for debt holders to keep up with their repayment schedules as the interest component of their payments decreases. Lower interest rates can also encourage borrowers to refinance existing debt, taking advantage of more favorable terms that can lead to substantial savings over time. Moreover, the timing of interest rate changes can also significantly influence debt management strategies. For instance, if a borrower anticipates an increase in interest rates, they may rush to secure fixed rate loans to lock in lower payments before rates rise. Conversely, if they expect rates to fall, they might opt for variable rate loans, positioning themselves to benefit from lower interest payments in the future. Interest rates also play a critical role in economic cycles. During periods of economic expansion, central banks may raise interest rates to curb inflation. In contrast, during economic downturns, they may lower rates to stimulate borrowing and spending. These shifts not only impact individual borrowers, but also influence corporate debt management and state financing strategies. In summary, the fluctuations in interest rates significantly affect debt repayment by altering the overall cost of borrowing. Borrowers need to stay informed about interest rate trends to effectively manage their debts. By strategically planning their financing decisions around these fluctuations, they can minimize costs and optimize their financial health. 13. Government Debt – How Nations Leverage Borrowing for Growth Understanding Government Debt Government debt, often referred to as national debt or public debt, is the total amount of money that a government owes to creditors. This debt can accumulate through various means, such as borrowing from domestic and foreign investors, issuing bonds, or taking loans from international financial institutions. While the concept of borrowing may conjure images of financial strain, government debt can actually play a crucial role in fostering economic growth and stability in national economies. The Role of Government Debt in National Economies 1. Funding Public Services and Infrastructure one of the primary uses of government debt is to finance public services, such as healthcare, education, and transportation infrastructure. By borrowing funds, governments can invest in critical infrastructure projects that not only create jobs, but also enhance the quality of life for citizens. Well-planned infrastructure stimulates economic activity and can lead to increased productivity. 2. Stimulating economic growth during recessions during periods of economic downturn, governments often increase borrowing to stimulate the economy. This process, commonly referred to as countercyclical fiscal policy, involves borrowing funds to finance public spending. The goal is to boost demand, create jobs, and encourage consumer spending, ultimately leading to economic recovery. Historical examples, such as the responses to the 2008 financial crisis and the COVID-19 pandemic, showcase the importance of government debt in stabilizing economies during challenging times. 3. Promoting development and investing in innovation. Many developing nations rely on government debt to finance investment in innovation, technology, and education. By borrowing to fund research and development or to improve educational systems, countries can lay the groundwork for long-term economic growth. Investment in human capital is particularly crucial as a well-educated workforce can drive innovation and competitiveness in the global market. For facilitating monetary policy, government debt plays a significant role in the implementation of monetary policy. Central banks purchase government bonds as part of their efforts to manage interest rates and control inflation. This interaction between government debt and monetary policy is essential for maintaining economic stability and achieving macroeconomic targets such as full employment and price stability. Five, enabling fiscal flexibility. 
the ability to incur debt allows governments to respond flexibly to unforeseen challenges, such as natural disasters or economic shocks. Without the capability to borrow, governments would have limited means to provide emergency support or stimulus when it is most needed. Responsible borrowing practices ensure that nations can navigate crises effectively. 6. Impacts of Government Debt on Future Generations While government debt can be beneficial, it is crucial to manage it sustainably. Excessive borrowing can lead to high levels of debt-to-GDP ratios, which may cause concerns among investors and lead to higher interest rates. Future generations may bear the burden of repaying this debt, underscoring the importance of prudent fiscal management and investment strategies. Conclusion In summary, government debt is a vital tool that nations can leverage for growth and development. When managed wisely, it enables governments to invest in essential services, respond effectively to economic challenges, and foster a conducive environment for innovation and competition. However, it is equally important to ensure that borrowing remains sustainable to protect future economic stability and growth. Understanding the dynamics of government debt is essential for policymakers, economists, and citizens alike, as it shapes the financial landscape of nations and ultimately impacts the well-being of their populations. 14. Comparing personal debt to corporate debt. When examining the landscape of financial obligations, it's crucial to differentiate between personal debt and corporate debt. Each operates under distinct principles, regulations, and management strategies, reflecting the unique circumstances and goals of individuals and corporations alike. Differences in how individuals and companies manage debt. 1. Debt Purpose and Nature Oh, personal debt is typically incurred for immediate, tangible needs, such as purchasing a home, funding education, or covering daily living expenses. Individuals often rely on credit cards, personal loans, and mortgages. O oh, corporate debt, on the other hand, is usually aimed at funding business growth, expansion, or operational efficiencies. Companies may issue bonds, take out business loans, or create lines of credit to finance projects, acquire assets, or manage cash flow. 2. Debt Levels and Risk Tolerance O oh, individuals are generally more risk-averse when taking on debt. Most strive for a manageable level of debt relative to their income to avoid financial distress. O oh, in contrast, corporations often operate with higher levels of debt relative to equity. Businesses may leverage debt as a strategic tool, as they can use borrowed funds to generate returns that exceed the cost of servicing that debt. 3. Regulatory Environment O oh, individuals face consumer protection laws that limit the amount of debt they can incur and often impose higher interest rates based on creditworthiness. Bankruptcy laws also provide individuals with options for relief in case of overwhelming debt. O oh, businesses are subject to different regulatory standards, often involving greater scrutiny from investors and regulatory bodies. Corporate debt is generally more formalized, with covenants and agreements negotiated during the borrowing process. Bankruptcy for corporations can lead to reorganization or liquidation, impacting shareholders, employees, and other stakeholders. 4. Debt Management Strategies O oh, individuals often focus on budgeting and personal finance techniques to manage their debts effectively, seeking to reduce interest payments and pay off loans early. Counseling services and debt consolidation are also popular options for individuals struggling with debt. O oh, corporations use sophisticated financial strategies to manage debt, including capital structuring and interest rate swaps. They often engage in financial forecasting and risk analysis to ensure that their debt levels remain sustainable and that they can meet their obligations without jeopardizing operational viability. 5. Impact of external factors O oh, personal debt levels are heavily influenced by personal circumstances, economic conditions, and changes in interest rates. Individuals must also consider job security and other personal factors when taking on additional debt. O oh, corporate debt management is impacted by broader economic trends, industry performance, and investor sentiment. Companies must adapt to shifts in market conditions, regulatory changes, and innovations that may affect their ability to repay borrowed funds. 6. Long-term versus short-term goals O oh, individuals often prioritize short-term financial stability, and may focus on debt elimination or reduction to improve their quality of life. O corporations typically engage in long-term financial planning, often using debt as a tool for strategic investment. 
The focus is on maximizing shareholder value and ensuring operational growth over time, even if it involves taking on significant debt. In conclusion, while both individuals and corporations engage with debt as a fundamental aspect of financial management, the differences in motivation, risk tolerance, regulatory oversight, and management techniques highlight the complex landscape of debt across personal and corporate sectors. Understanding these distinctions can help better navigate financial decisions, whether for personal or business purposes. 15. How to refinance debt to improve financial health. Refinancing debt is a financial strategy that involves replacing an existing loan or obligation with a new one, usually with more favorable terms. It can be a powerful tool for improving your financial health, but it is essential to weigh the benefits and risks involved before making such a decision. Benefits of refinancing. 1. Lower interest rates. One of the primary reasons individuals and businesses choose to refinance is to secure a lower interest rate. This can significantly reduce the total interest paid over the life of the loan and lower monthly payments, freeing up cash flow for other expenses or savings. 2. Reduced monthly payments. Refinancing can often enable borrowers to extend the term of their loan, leading to smaller monthly payments. This can ease financial strain, allowing borrowers to better manage their budgets. 3. Improve cash flow. By lowering monthly payments and interest rates, refinancing can enhance your overall cash flow. This extra money can be used for investments, savings, or paying off other debts, helping to improve your financial situation. 4. Debt consolidation. Refinancing can also serve to consolidate multiple debts into a single loan, simplifying the repayment process. This can lead to better organization and management of your finances, as well as potentially lower interest rates if the consolidation is handled properly. 5. Access to equity. Homeowners may choose to refinance to take advantage of home equity. Cash-out refinancing allows you to convert some of your home's equity into cash, which can be used for various purposes, such as home renovations, investments, or paying down high-interest debt. 6. Improve credit score. Successfully managing and paying off refinance debt can lead to an improved credit score over time. A better credit score can open doors to even more favorable financing options in the future. Risks of refinancing. 1. Closing costs and fees. Refinancing often comes with closing costs and fees that can negate some of the savings generated by lower interest rates. It's essential to carefully evaluate these costs and ensure that the long-term benefits outweigh the short-term expenses. 2. Longer loan terms. While extending the term of the loan can lower monthly payments, it can also lead to paying more interest over time. Understanding the implications of a longer loan term is crucial for maintaining financial health. 3. Potential for debt increases. Some borrowers may inadvertently take on more debt through refinancing, especially with cash-out options. It's vital to have a clear plan for using any additional funds to avoid worsening financial situations. 4. Variable interest rates. If refinancing into a variable rate loan, borrowers risk paying higher interest rates if market conditions change. This uncertainty can lead to increased payments in the future, putting financial stability at risk. 5. Impact on credit score. Refinancing often involves a hard inquiry into your credit report, which can temporarily lower your credit score. Understanding how this might affect your financial situation in the short term is important before proceeding. 6. Qualification Requirements In some cases, borrowers may find it challenging to qualify for a refinance, especially if their credit score has declined or their financial situation has changed since the original loan was obtained. Conclusion Refinancing debt can be an effective means of improving financial health, but it is essential to approach the process with careful consideration and thorough research. By evaluating the benefits, such as lower interest rates and improved cash flow, against the potential risks, including closing costs and the possibility of longer loan terms, individuals can make informed decisions that align with their financial goals. Always consider consulting with a financial advisor to navigate the complexities of refinancing and ensure it is the right choice for your unique situation. 16. Should you pay off your debt or invest? Deciding whether to pay off debt or invest your money can be a challenging financial dilemma for many individuals. This decision can significantly impact your financial future, and it's essential to evaluate both options carefully. Paying off debt. The benefits. 
1. Interest Savings One of the most compelling reasons to pay off debt is to save on interest payments. High interest debt, such as credit card balances, can accumulate quickly, leading to substantial amounts paid over time. By eliminating this debt, you can redirect those funds towards savings or other financial goals. 2. Financial Freedom Being debt-free often provides a sense of relief and financial security. Without the burden of monthly payments, you can enjoy greater peace of mind and the freedom to allocate your resources toward other priorities. 3. Improve Credit Score Paying off debt can also positively impact your credit score. A lower debt-to-income ratio and fewer outstanding balances can enhance your creditworthiness, making it easier to secure loans with favorable terms in the future. Investing The Advantages 1. Potential for Higher Returns Investing, whether in the stock market, real estate, or other avenues, offers the opportunity for higher returns than the interest rates on many consumer debts. By investing wisely, you may grow your wealth at a much faster rate than simply paying off debt. 2. Compound Interest The sooner you start investing, the more you can benefit from compound interest, where your earnings generate additional earnings. Over time, this can lead to significant financial growth, making investing an attractive choice for long-term wealth accumulation. 3. Building Wealth Investing can be a powerful long-term strategy for building wealth. Owning assets such as real estate can provide both capital appreciation and rental income, contributing to an overall financial portfolio that grows over time. Comparing the two options, when deciding between paying off debt and investing, it's essential to consider several factors. A type of debt. Not all debt is created equal. High interest debt should generally be prioritized for payment, while low interest debt or student loans might be considered for investment opportunities. Investment knowledge. If you are well-versed in investing and have a solid plan, you may feel more comfortable allocating funds toward investments. However, if you lack experience, paying down debt may present a safer option, a risk tolerance. Investing comes with inherent risks and market fluctuations can result in losses. If you have a low risk tolerance or close to a financial milestone, such as retirement, paying off debt may provide a sense of security. A long-term goals, your individual financial goals play a crucial role in the decision-making process. If your priority is to build wealth for future generations, investing may take precedence. Conversely, if you're seeking to become debt-free to enhance your overall quality of life now, paying off debt may be the way to go. Conclusion Ultimately, the choice between paying off debt and investing is not a one-size-fits-all decision. It requires an honest assessment of your financial situation priorities, and goals. A balanced approach may also be appropriate, allocating some funds toward debt repayment while simultaneously investing a portion for future growth. Consult with a financial advisor to tailor a strategy that works best for your unique circumstances and aspirations. 17. Debt Consolidation Simplifying Your Debt Debt consolidation is a financial strategy that allows individuals to combine multiple debts into a single, more manageable payment. This approach can reduce stress and simplify the process of managing your finances. In this guide, we will explore the various methods of debt consolidation, the benefits it offers, and important considerations to keep in mind as you navigate your options. Understanding Debt Consolidation Debt consolidation involves taking out a new loan to pay off several existing debts, thereby creating a single monthly payment instead of multiple ones. This can include consolidating credit card balances, personal loans, medical bills, and other types of debts. Methods of Debt Consolidation 1. Personal Loans One of the most common methods is to take out a personal loan from a bank, credit union, or online lender. The funds from this loan can be used to pay off existing debts, leaving you with one loan to repay over time. 2. Balance Transfer Credit Cards For those with credit card debt, a balance transfer card can be a useful tool. These cards often come with an introductory 0% APR for a set period, allowing you to transfer your debts and save on interest costs. 3. Home, equity loans, or lines of credit. Homeowners may consider using a home equity loan or a home equity line of credit, HELOC, to consolidate debt. This option typically offers lower interest rates because the loan is secured by your home. 4. Debt management plans. 
working with a credit counseling agency can lead to a debt management plan. Through this plan, the agency negotiates with creditors on your behalf to lower interest rates and consolidate payments into a single monthly remittance. 5. Debt Settlement Although riskier and potentially damaging to your credit score, debt settlement involves negotiating with creditors to pay a lump sum that is less than the total owed. However, this method does not consolidate debts in the traditional sense, but it's a way to reduce overall debt. Benefits of Debt Consolidation Simplified Payments Consolidating your debts means you'll have only one payment to keep track of each month, which can make budgeting much easier. A lower interest rates, depending on your credit score and financial situation, debt consolidation might allow you to secure a lower interest rate, reducing the overall cost of your debt over time. Improve credit score. By consolidating and paying off your debts responsibly, you can potentially improve your credit score over time, as more of your available credit will be freed up and your payment history will benefit. Stress reduction. Having multiple debts can be overwhelming, but a single payment can help alleviate some of that stress, making it easier to manage your finances. Important considerations. While debt consolidation can be an effective tool for managing debt, it is important to consider. A fees and costs. Some consolidation methods come with fees that might outweigh the benefits. Be sure to read the fine print and understand any costs involved. Impact on credit score. Although debt consolidation can improve your credit score long-term, applying for new loans can temporarily decrease it. Continued responsible spending. It's vital to avoid accumulating new debt during and after the consolidation process. This means being disciplined with credit card usage and other forms of borrowing. Evaluate your financial situation. Before choosing a consolidation method, assess your overall financial health and consider seeking advice from a financial advisor or credit counselor. Conclusion. Debt consolidation can be a powerful tool to regain control over your financial situation. By understanding the various options available and carefully weighing the benefits and drawbacks, you can develop a plan that works best for your unique circumstances. Simplifying your debt through consolidation can lead to a brighter financial future, freeing you from the burden of overwhelming debt. 18. The Psychology of Debt – Overcoming the Fear of Borrowing with the complex relationship individuals have with money, debt, and financial responsibility, understanding the psychology of debt is crucial. The way we perceive borrowing can have a significant impact on our financial behaviors and ultimately on our ability to manage debt effectively and build wealth. Mindset and its impact on debt management. Our mindset plays a pivotal role in how we approach debt. For some, borrowing is seen as a necessary tool to achieve financial goals, such as buying a home, investing in education, or starting a business. These individuals often view debt in a strategic light, recognizing that when managed responsibly, it can be a catalyst for growth and opportunity. Conversely, many people harbor a deep-seated fear of debt, viewing it as a burden that leads to financial stress and anxiety. This perspective can stem from upbringing, cultural influences, or previous negative experiences with borrowing. Such a mindset can create a cycle of avoidance, where individuals are reluctant to consider beneficial borrowing options, ultimately hindering their opportunities to enhance their financial situations. Overcoming fear and building wealth. To effectively manage debt and create pathways to wealth, it is essential to confront and overcome fears associated with borrowing. This begins with education, understanding the nature of debt and the distinctions between good debt, which can help build wealth, and bad debt, which can lead to financial instability. Developing a positive mindset involves reframing how borrowing is viewed. Instead of seeing debt merely as a source of stress, individuals can train themselves to see it as a tool for investment in their future. Techniques such as financial journaling, guided visualization, and seeking mentorship can help cultivate a healthier relationship with debt. Moreover, Crafting effective debt management and wealth-building strategies requires a practical approach. Setting clear financial goals, creating a budget, and developing a repayment plan can provide a sense of control and empowerment. Engaging with financial advisors or utilizing resources like debt management programs can also provide support and guidance on best practices for responsible borrowing. In conclusion, the psychology of debt is a critical factor when it comes to overcoming the fear of borrowing. By altering negative mindsets and embracing informed financial strategies, 
individuals can navigate debt more effectively and leverage it to build sustainable wealth. 19. Why most people fail to use debt to their advantage. Debt can be a powerful financial tool when managed correctly, yet many individuals find themselves struggling with it. Understanding the common mistakes people make when managing debt can illuminate why they often fail to leverage it effectively. Here are several key issues that contribute to this phenomenon. 1. Lack of financial literacy. One of the primary reasons people fail to use debt advantageously is a lack of understanding of financial principles. When individuals do not grasp concepts such as interest rates, credit scores, and debt-to-income ratios, they may make uninformed decisions that lead to unfavorable outcomes. 2. High interest debt. Many people accumulate high interest debt, such as credit card balances that carry exorbitant interest rates. Instead of using debt to invest in assets that can generate returns, they find themselves in a cycle of paying interest on non-productive expenditures. 3. Emotional spending. Emotional decision-making can lead individuals to incur debt impulsively. Whether driven by stress, excitement, or societal pressures, using debt to finance luxury items or experiences rather than essential needs or investments can create a burden that is difficult to manage. 4. Neglecting budgeting. Many people do not create or stick to a budget. Without a clear financial plan, individuals can easily lose track of their spending, leading to overspending and increased debt levels. This lack of structure makes it challenging to leverage debt for productive purposes. 5. Failure to prioritize debt repayment. Some individuals fail to prioritize repayment of high-interest debts, allowing them to accumulate. By not addressing these debts first, people may miss out on opportunities to use debt strategically for investments or other beneficial endeavors. 6. Ignoring the benefits of good debt. Not all debt is bad. Good debt, such as loans for education or real estate, can lead to greater financial success in the long run. However, many people fail to recognize the potential benefits of leveraging good debt, either out of fear or misinformation. 7. Avoiding professional help. Financial advisors can provide insights into effective debt management strategies. However, many people do not seek professional guidance, which can lead to missed opportunities for optimizing their debt situation. 8. Overborrowing. Some individuals take on more debt than they can realistically manage, believing they can pay it off later. This overconfidence can quickly lead to a debt spiral, making it difficult to regain control of their finances. 9. Inadequate emergency funds. Without adequate savings for emergencies, individuals may rely on debt when unexpected expenses arise. This reliance on debt can hinder their ability to use it strategically for investments or growth. 10. Not monitoring credit reports. Failing to keep an eye on credit reports can result in missed errors or changes in credit scores. A poor credit score can lead to higher interest rates on loans, making it more expensive to manage debt and hindering financial growth. Conclusion. In summary, many people fail to use debt to their advantage due to a combination of poor financial literacy, emotional spending habits, neglecting budgeting, and a lack of understanding of good versus bad debt. By recognizing and addressing these common mistakes, individuals can begin to navigate the complexities of debt more effectively and potentially turn it into a tool for financial growth rather than a source of stress. Developing a proactive approach to debt management and seeking out educational resources can pave the way for financial success. 20. Why debt can be a lifesaver in crisis situations. Debt often carries a negative connotation, and for many, it may seem like a burden that weighs heavily on financial well-being. However, in certain circumstances, particularly during emergencies, leveraging debt can serve as a critical lifeline. This exploration will delve into the ways in which accessing debt can provide immediate relief and support during crises like medical emergencies or unexpected expenses, ultimately illustrating that it can be a strategic tool rather than just a financial pitfall. When faced with a medical crisis, for instance, the costs associated with treatment can be astronomical. Health insurance may not cover all expenses, and even those with comprehensive plans can encounter high deductibles and out-of-pocket costs that can quickly escalate. This is where debt can come into play. By using credit cards, personal loans, or medical financing options, individuals can secure the funds needed to address urgent health care needs without the stress of immediate payment. This financial flexibility 
can not only help to manage the expenses more comfortably over time, but can also ensure that individuals receive timely medical attention, which can be crucial in emergency situations. Unexpected expenses are another scenario where leveraging debt can prove advantageous. Life is unpredictable, and costs such as car repairs, home maintenance emergencies, or sudden job loss can leave individuals or families in a precarious financial position. In these instances, rather than succumbing to the pressure of immediate repayment, individuals can utilize debt strategically to cover these unforeseen costs. Accessing a line of credit or taking out a short-term loan can provide the necessary funds to bridge the gap until the situation stabilizes, allowing individuals to maintain their standard of living while they formulate a longer-term financial plan. Furthermore, using debt responsibly in times of crisis can also lead to positive outcomes. It can facilitate the opportunity to improve credit scores when payments are made on time, which can lead to better borrowing options in the future. Additionally, Thoughtful utilization of credit can help in building a financial safety net for similar situations down the line. In conclusion, while the thought of incurring debt, particularly in times of crisis, may induce anxiety, it is crucial to recognize that it can also be a lifesaver. By employing debt as a tool for managing emergencies, individuals can navigate through difficult periods without losing sight of their financial goals. The key lies in responsible borrowing practices and a commitment to a repayment plan that aligns with one's budget and long-term financial health. Thanks for watching. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to support us by like, share, and subscribe.